inside this workshop, there are no limits. Yes. Here, kids with limb differences create prosthetics fit for a superhero. For a lot of these kids, we're looking at reframing their disability or perceived disability as a super ability. They call this five-day program Superhero Boost. Mm -hmm. It's fun because you get to be really creative and you're given tools and you get to learn new things every single time. I just love it. Jordan Reeves was born with a left arm that stops just above the elbow. You say that people stare at you. Is that hard? I have my days where I'm just like, I wish I could just hide it completely, but then I'm, there's days where I'm just like, hi. <laughs> she first came to Superhero Boost in 2016. How cool do you feel wearing this? I feel pretty snazzy. Building an arm that okay, shoots biodegradable glitter. Glitter. <laughs> Not recommended on that a windy really day. Good. It's like New Year's. The program gives kids a chance to work with professional designers and engineers, experimenting with 3D printers and voice activated technology. Snake launch. There you go. This year, Ryder Drotty is designing an arm that will launch fake plastic snakes. Why do you like snakes? Because they're really cute. Kenzie Waskowitz's creation will hold gems that light up and change color. I'm going to be pretty psyched to, to have this and like put it on my shelf and be like, hey, I made that. During presentations on the final day, her vision becomes a reality. Hey! Just one of many superpowers made possible by grit and a bit of glitter. Joe Fryer, NBC News, San Francisco. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.